Hey everyone, I'm the Green Knight. Let's play some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. So we're on the primary quest. We're going to do Awakening. We're going to even take this off. There we go. If you press E, you can add it and subtract it so that it won't be on your mini map. And I'm going to take that one off. We're just going to work on this one here. We're going to go talk to Sir Roderick and get our things from the trunk. We do need to eat. We're going to eat out of the pot. And that did get us up to 55. If there's more food in the pot, which there's not, I would have eaten it. Here's the trunk. And we're probably going to take everything. And then we're going to sort stuff out here. Let's just look at what we got. Uh, we're probably going to keep that, I guess. Yeah, where's my father's sword? I wonder, I did, the, did I not pick it up? Yeah, I bet you I missed his sword while I was out there. So I think while the next to my father was his sword, you could have picked it up. That was that was a bogus of me to miss that, but okay, we'll, we'll do fine without it. Um, let's just start equipping stuff that we want to equip. We need to sharpen the sword here, and this bow is not in good shape either. Oh no, no, they're in fine shape. This is the bows at ninety nine. Yeah, this is the condition here. So they're in fine shape. Um, I'm going to use these long distance arrows. That'll be fine. Oh, and then we're going to need to put armor on, right? We're going to put Bianca's ring on. I am tempted to leave this helm off. We're not going to put that on. We're just going to put our green shirt on. We're put our hundred gloves on. The padding. The collar. Uh, the noble boots look good to me. I'll put those on. This is the old boots. That's what we were wearing, and they're old. And the hose, right? And everything else we will probably sell. I mean, we could put this on. That's fine. We'll put it on. Um, anything else that we want to do? Here's some food here that we can eat if we need to. So we'll grab it. What's our uh, nutrition at? Yeah, we could eat those. That's fine. Right here. Eat. 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 And that gets us up to a reasonable level of nutrition. And we come out here. We're going to wash up. We don't want to look grungy. And where are we going? We're going to this A here. So I think we just run up the road. So be it. Now there is a quest to talk to the Miller, but again, we're going to concentrate just on the main storyline for a while. Just till we get to a point and it'll become evident once we get there. Yep, beautiful countryside. Fast travel point, so we can just skip to here later on. Two guards. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Thvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Okay, so they're gonna let me in the town. That seems that totally reasonable. I had. And these are the uh, the refugees, 
from Skalix. They're sit there. They've made huts here, and they're begging. And we will wash up again just to wash up. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul, it is him. What are you doing here, lad? It is me. We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, I think they're on the top floor. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? They don't pull punches here. I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirtstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well... There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit, he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't <laughs> he think just the Lord the shape of a woman's realized just what buttocks, Hungarian sir. <laughs> order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> All right, I had to. Please. Your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. <laughs> okay. They deserve Hang a on Christian there. burial. Did you that manage did that? That did not sound good. <laughs> no. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. 
That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. Yeah, he's You're pretty so much a douchebag. Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I yeah. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. <laughs> That's Sir right. Robard's right. <laughs> what you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. That's he right. He's a peasant father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service. So I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You mean no, I, I, I get paid? Him. Don't forget, Henry. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. Well, how much do I, I get paid? My lord. Alright, I'll figure out a way to pay myself. Don't worry. Okay, we are back hey. outside. You're just talking to me because I bumped into you. It's a horse? Okay. Let's see, where we got here? Quest. Go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Okay, let's go. Where's it at? It's way up here. Let's go. I should die of shame to be reduced to begging. What am I to do with all this silver? Oh, I could sell some of that gear that I have. Probably should do so. Sure. And there's an armor in this building right here. Let's see what I have that you might want to buy. God be with you. Trade. Sell. Do I want the green shirt? 
I don't think I can wear it, so no. I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of these old boots. And unfortunately, I will get rid of the red scarf. I don't think I need it. All right. I probably... Oh, I did make a little bit of money by that. Um... Do I want to buy something from here? I mean, I could buy... A small armorer's kit. How much money do I have? I have 40 coin. Um... I probably should buy this. Okay, I'll take one of those. And then we will haggle. Can we do something about the price? Aye. What do you say to this? That's not enough. Okay, he did come down a little bit. What if I make this arm? Mm, no deal then. No deal? You're kidding me. You. All right. <laughs> what about repairs? Um, I definitely want to repair that, and this we can hold off on. So, how much? Twenty-five to repair that. We'll haggle over it. Can we do something about the price? Naturally. Naturally. E is not good. What about this? About haggling. Well, a little more, and we'll call it a deal. But we do improve our speech, so we'll take his price. Oh, that's a decent price. Okay, so now let's go back and try to sell our stuff. Or did we just repair a set of gloves that we didn't need? I think we did. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. We should have just sold it. Okay. Um, right. That is what we want to sell. We want to buy one of these small armorers kits. And now we don't have enough money. So we will have to try to haggle this. Otherwise, Let's we won't get it. Let's have a word about the price. Sure. Why not? What about this? Let's see if we can't bring him down some. I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Alright, I think we can afford that. Are we agreed? Well, a little more, and we'll call it a deal. See now. I, I guess that's all my money then. Payment. So be it. Okay. Since I don't think I have any coin left. Yeah, no coin. I do have this small armorer's kit. Nothing to repair with it. So be it. Let's go. So there's armor, there's tailoring, and there's cobbling. Cobbler. Cobbling? I don't know if that's a word or not. In any case, there's there's uh, two of the main characters right there. Again, they leave, they live their lives. They just go around and do stuff that they would normally do. And the stars are quest givers, or they will tell you where to get a quest from. This is the huntsman shop where you can get bows and arrows from. Oh, this is a counterweight, right? For the drawbridge. So that they can raise the drawbridge. Here's the counterweight. And if you walk up into this room up here, you will see the mechanics of the drawbridge. Now, they probably don't really work or anything, but it's pretty realistic. Again, washing yourself is important. <laughs> probably not as often as I'm doing it, but uh, you do need to wash yourself. Okay, and do I just need to wait for you because you haven't gotten here yet? I bet she's walking up the path. Yeah, 
I mean, uh, what could we do? We could just wait time. Because he should be here. Oh, is that him right there? That's not him. That's somebody else. He's got a hoe in his hand. Yes. Damn. Townsman. So. Says Rob. I don't think I want to steal from these people. Get them mad at me. Okay, so I'm going to wait an hour to see if uh, the guy shows up. There he is. He, he was just on his way and he hadn't gotten here yet. Captain I'll Bernard. You. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yes, that's me. Sure. Let's get to it then. Since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Good. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. My father I know a, a few blacksmith, things. So I've learned a thing or two. Fine. We'll try something more advanced then. Okay. Good. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Ah. Uh. Ah. See, I lure ah. you, then attack unexpectedly. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, he is killing me. Ah. I, got, I blocked a couple of them. Ah. Block, block. Ah. Oh. Good strike. Oh. Ah. I think those were all hits almost on me. Dude, he is good. And I'm not good, quite honestly. I blocked a, I think I might have blocked some of those. Fine. That's enough. I have my work cut out, it seems. That's life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Ah, that, ah, that, good. Not bad. Nice. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Okay, that's the Q key. There we go, block. Good. Ow. Not bad. Ow. Very good. So they're going slow motion here. All right. Nope, that wasn't no, good. Not I, like I that. didn't wait for it. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. I have to wait for the... There we go. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. Let's see how good I am here. Each time Probably not very see it well. <sighs> ah, that's it. He's still not going very fast. Ah, that's it. <sighs> well done. Very 
Very good. Ah. Not bad. Okay. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. Full you speed. Probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Train. Ugh. There we go. Ah. Yep, got that one. Not that one. There we go. Ow. Got it. Captain Bernard. Got it. Wait a while, Henry. Hans. Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Okay, thanks a lot, Lord. Frick. <laughs> where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Nope, no, that didn't happen. that's not it! No, again! There we go. Finally, I got it. Ah, that's it! There we go. Ah, that's it! Oops, forgot the not like do it in that right order. This is something I'm not Good. terribly great at. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Yeah. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Ow. Come on. Ow. Nope, can't seem to do it. There we go. Nice. Got one done. There we are. That's well better. Done. I did it, but it didn't give That's me credit. It. And the last thing for today. Oh, it did give me trick. credit. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. <laughs> Not like that! <sighs> ah, that's it! <sighs> Very good! <sighs> Very good! <sighs> no, that's not it! <sighs> not bad! Ah, uh, that's it. Okay. Well, now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. If all else fails, do a jab. <laughs> don't leave yet. The Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. All right. He's going to walk down there. We'll just go ahead of him. Just follow him, but I don't think I have got to. I think I can just meet him there. Because he's slow. <laughs> what can I say? This is the tailor. 
Hey, Taylor. Just going about his business. Here's the archery range in here. And there's our friend Hans, the prick. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Okay, Thank okay. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw, hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement, the arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a if training If you want bow. to hit anything, the arrow drops quickly. you're going to have Once to aim. Once you've a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Okay. Well, that was awful. What do you mean? I hit the Didn't target a bunch a of times. you crazy. Like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep it's a little bit of a temper talking. there. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. You know, I did pretty well in practice. That was only one point. Not a great shot. One point. Not a great shot. That was much better. But we're still tied. That was okay. That was a good shot. There we go. Bullseye. Another bullseye. And not a bad shot. That's a decent score, man. That's a pretty good score. And then if you finish first in the round, you get a bonus three points. And we're going to win this. Easy. Take that. You prick. Well... I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you <laughs> owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. This is the hard one for me. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. You can just so tell him I didn't listen. Blacksmith? Excellent. If we must. I like your style. Excellent. Then let's go. Okay, this is going to be the tough part. Ah. I did get him there. Block. I need to get my stamina back. Ah! I did get him at least once, though. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Stamina. Stamina. 
Ah. Ah. Got them once. I almost blocked that, I think. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stab. Oh, we got it. Well. <laughs> okay. Excellent. You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Look, I got blood on my arm too. Don't your head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Excellent. We got his bow. We are the bomb. Yeah, go away. I got your bow. Okay. Let's see. What kind of bows do I got now? So I got captain's bow here. So I need five and five. So I still need two stats for that. And then I have this very light bow. And so I'm going to go back to this bow, obviously. And these tournament arrows, I'm going to go ahead and just drop. I, they're no good to you. They, uh, they don't do anything. And you can't use... If you just shoot them, there's no skill gain. You have to be shooting at something uh, to get skill from it. Okay. I think we're good. What do we have here? Speak to Bernard. Okay. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Dude, Careful. look, we're all messed up. You <laughs> might be under Sir Radzig's protection. But you be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. All right, report the bailiff. Are we still on the awakening? No, we're on a hard fight, hard train. Why don't we take a break? Dude, let's go take a break. Um, thanks for watching to the end of the video, and I will see everyone next time.